What's going on guys? So I'm out here in southwestern Virginia and I'm doing a little mushroom hunting and I came across a beautiful crown tip coral. Let me show you this. Okay, there it is. It is such a beautiful mushroom. I mean, it really is appropriately named. I mean, it does look like it belongs in the, uh, looks like it came right out of the ocean. But you can see it's got these little crowns right on the tip. Right in there, you can see that. And there's like uh, anywhere from three to six, you know, sticking out. That's one of the key identifying factors on this is the tips. And that's obviously where it gets its name, you know, crown tip, crown tip coral. It's an edible mushroom. This is a saprophytic mushroom. So you're definitely gonna find it on, you know, down logs just like this. Uh, it's not parasitic, so you won't find it on any living trees. Uh, it's going to be primarily coming out of logs, old logs that have, have fallen or stumps and things of that nature. Beautiful mushroom though, fantastic. And if we look down here, you can see this little flush through here is definitely past its prime. So you can see what it looks like when it starts to get older. Um, it gets really kind of gelatinous, you know. Uh, certainly wouldn't harvest this section to eat. Um, over here, possibly, I'm not going to. Um, however, it is a, a pretty good mushroom. A lot of people like it. Uh, check it out though in that. You can really see those tips pointing at the crown on it. And that, that is so awesome. Very pretty mushroom. You know, in my opinion, this has to be one of the most exotic mushrooms, you know, out there uh, that you can find. Very pretty though. Look over there, there's some going down the side of the log right there. And there's even a little bit, I noticed way over here on the end, coming out of the end of this log, look. Very cool, very cool. The crown tip coral, there are a couple look-alikes, uh, the yellow coral and uh, a jelly coral, which really isn't uh, a uh, coral at all, it's more of a, it's classified as a jelly mushroom. Um, this guy is, is you know, the one you're going to find on the logs. That's what you need to focus on. You look for the crown tips on the logs or the, or the, or the stumps. Like I said, it's, it's a saprophytic mushroom, so it's definitely going to be, you know, on, on down limbs. And they're primarily a lot older. Uh, you can see this guy did not just fall. It's been here a while. And that's where I typically see them, you know, when it's been on the ground a while. So anyway, super cool. Pretty large flush too. Awesome. Another thing to note is that when this mushroom is younger and is first starting out, it is a lot lighter than this. Almost kind of an off-white color. Uh, and then as it ages, it tends to, uh, you know, kind of get this tan color, maybe a little yellow hue to it. Sometimes even pink in there. Um, but it is super beautiful, isn't it? I mean, that thing is just amazing. You look at all the detail in it. That is something else. Super cool. Very glad I found this. Awesome. Decided to take the trail back, and uh, actually I'm glad I did because I came across uh, something pretty cool. Let me show you. Okay, what this is, is the crown tip coral actually appears to be growing out of the ground, but it's not. It's, um, it's actually growing, you know, out of a, a dying or dead wood that's buried. A lot like uh, Chicken of the Woods, uh, Lake de Porta Cincinnatus. That will look like it's coming out of the ground as well, uh, but it's not. It's coming off of a root system or it's coming off of a buried and decomposing wood, a log, anything uh, that's just, you know, rotten and decomposing as far as wood goes, uh, that mushroom will grow out of it. And the same thing with the crown tip. So, uh, very cool. I mean, I thought I'd share that with you. All right. Hey, the crown tip coral. Man, thank you for spending your time with me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.